Hey, what's happening, guys? It's your boy, Cory Barker, also known as the Real Shims Lady, and today we're here with Owen. He's not in the room right now, but we're getting ready for the Autism Audiobook, where we read you some of the best fan fictions out there. Right now, I'm going to go on Discord for a little bit to do a bit of, to do a, bit of a meme. Thanks, Owen. Appreciate you. What? And I'm going to take a call from a random person on Discord. So, without further ado, let's get it. Just gotta wait for Discord to load, and while that's loading, I'm gonna give you some of my juiciest commentary. Uh, are you gonna hurry up? Uh. <coughs> so, yeah. Today was a great day. I managed to get some live streaming done, all six minutes of it, and Discord seems not to be working. Wonderful. <coughs> what happened? Well, I was going to take a call with someone on Discord, but fuck them. Alright. What are you Just recording? Go. Yep, just recording a little bit of commentary. I'm going to happen to have your phone on you because our fucking Wi-Fi sucks here. We picked a hell of a fucking place. I'm scrolling through fandoms right now, an uh, archive of our own. If you don't Excellent. know that, it's a popular site. We uh, we did our first little meme edge of that, which is horrendous. It's still up on YouTube if you want to go check that out. No, it's not. It is. What's the video oh, called? fuck, never mind. Yeah, the audio files get, like... Corrupted when I tried to send them to myself. But... Yeah, it okay. happens. All right. Now we just gotta find a spot in the room where this actually fucking works good. Wonderful. Uh, that'll be nowhere. Alright. Just to be wonderful, turn the Wi-Fi off on my uh, iPad. I fucking ought to do that for a second. It's archiveofourown.org. If you're... That's why it fucking sucks, because I have VPN on. You don't need VPN on this network. Technical difficulties, men, ladies, and children in the audience. Well, you shouldn't be children in the audience because this is some edgy shit, but whatever. Disconnect from my VPN and now we can fucking relax and breathe in peace as Archive of Our Own starts working once more. Praise our Lord Jesus. And now, we're gonna find the dankest of memes. So if you... And we're back. We found a lovely fan fiction by the name of Isabella Loves Phineas. Warning, the, char the creator of this chose not to use archive warnings. And it includes graphic depictions of violence, major character death. Uh, let's see, it also contains rape and non-consent, as well as underage sexual activities. So, without further ado, the one underneath it has impregnation, so we're going to do that one next. But anyways... Sweet. Isabella Loves Phineas's Dad by Leaguer Demain. D-Main, excuse me. Quite a character. Indeed. <coughs> Ooh, moist. Okay. Fizib Isabella Loves Phineas' Dad, or P. Hineas, whatever. I pooped mesh pants, and then I popped, said Isabella, and looked down into her pants at what she had done. Phineas's dad came in and saw the mess. What have you done? I, I didn't mend to Mr. Phineas' dad. I'm so sore. Isabella, Phineas' dad. That's it, I guess. So we're gonna re we're gonna do the one with impregnation underneath. Is it. that written by like a fucking illiterate? <laughs> Well, most fan fictions are, so it doesn't surprise me. Okay, let's... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Roar XD. <laughs> Roar XD. Alright, Phineas's Revenge. <laughs> oh, boy. Rape, non-con, underage. Underage rape, non-con. Underage sex, incest, impregnation. Sounds like a great day at Robert Massey's house. Alright, let's... Off to a great start. Okay, first chapter. Three different one-shots, what? Oh my god, that's a scary name drop. It says, Notes, for Corey 21. Don't know how spooky we could get. Spooky. Chapter, 
Chapter 1, Sweet Love. This is a summary. Phineas and Isabella had finally told each other how they felt and even went out on a few dates. As summer was coming to an end, Phineas had one more surprise for, his, for Isabella. His only question, is she ready? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> ready for what? Impregnation, apparently. All right. The night was going to be perfect. Phineas and Isabella had finally told each other how they felt and even went out on a few dates. As summer was coming to an end, Phineas had one more question for Isabella, or one more surprise, excuse me. His only question was, is she ready? It's the fucking summary, cock. You can't do that to me. Phineas had snuck into Isabella's room. I have something I want to show you. He, he held out his hand. I promise, I will have you back before morning. Without question, he took it, she took his hand. He pulled her close. Close your eyes, he said, jumping out her window. Phineas knew how much his boy <coughs> loved Aladdin, so he came out with a way. You look so, disappointed. So he came up with a way to make a flying carpet. Excellent. She was enjoying the ride. He, Ooh, yeah. When the carpet circled the spot in the park where a beautiful picnic was set up by the creek. Wow, Phineas, Isabella said as she ran over to the blanket. This is amazing. I was hoping you would like it. Phineas smiled happily. There's more to the surprise, he said. Oh, God. <coughs> yeah, boy. After the picnic. <laughs> after the pit. All right, shut up. I, I'm ready. sorry. I'm just ready for that impregnation, my boy. <laughs> after the picnic, the two enjoyed a nice moonlit walk to a cabin Phineas had put together earlier in the day. I built this for us, he said. Seems very meticulous. It was in a less po it was in a less populated area. Ooh. So people just thought it should have been there. Yeah. Isabel ran inside. It's beautiful. But why build us a house? We're still too young to move out. I know. But that's not why I built it. Phineas <laughs> gently pressed his lips against Isabella's. His tongue brushed against hers, begging them to part, as his hand cupped her chest. Isabella pushed him back slightly. Oh, this people's fucking grammar. What you doing? She asked in a way that really got to him. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> no, it says W H A T C H doing. <laughs> School is starting back soon, Phineas said. And well, I wanted to give you a Moonlight and Rose Petals. I read it in a book. What kind of fucking books are you reading? <laughs> Who reads books anyways? Yeah, I'm saying. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Lost my spot. Fuck Isabella you. looked confused. She was head over heels for... Fi no, excuse me. She was head over hills for Phineas. <laughs> <laughs> she just wasn't sure if she was ready to move past kissing. What he walked her to the bed. I wouldn't do anything you don't want me to. You know I wouldn't force you to do anything you're not comfortable doing. If you want me to, I can take you back to home now. Or we can just stay here and cuddle. Whoa. I need to lose a layer of this bitch. I'm coming down with a case of the vapors up this hole. Alright. Pull it back together, Finn. Pull it back together. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. No, Isabella. I don't want to go back yet. I'm just nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> nervous all of a sudden. It's okay. I understand. I always get nervous when I'm around you. Kiss me again, she pleaded. Phineas smiled and kissed Isabella again. He laid her back on the bed. His hand... His hand <laughs> rested on the small of her back. What the fuck? He what? laid her back. He laid her back on the bed. His hand rested on the small of her back. He deepened the kiss by brushing his tongue over her lips. This time they parted. Oh! Can you fucking stop, Owen? Sorry. This is gonna get graphic. I can just consider. I can only think of like two worms in a tunnel, blindly finding each other. What the fuck? Their tongues brushed together, as his head. 
as his had found its way under her whoa, under her pants. Which head? His hand. His hand. H A D. It's supposed to be hand, but these people are fucking fifth graders, so they don't know what I'd say third and half graders. Shut up. All right. Sorry, man. Uh, but resting his tongue, blah, 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 as his head had found its way under her pants. His fingers quickly round her sweet spot as he rubbed her through her panties. She moaned into his kiss. The foreplay was enough to drive a person insane. They slowly teased each other as they undressed. Nervinus, whatever the fuck that words, Nervinus, yeah, Nervinus, gave way to passion. They tried many non-penetrating positions, such as mammary intercourse. The fuck in 69, is that? Just nipple rubbing and shit. Uh, I'll have to do research tonight. When Phineas couldn't take it any longer, he took control. He gently pushed Isabella under his body. Take a deep breath, he whispered into her ear. And Phineas thrust his shaft inside Isabella. Jesus. She gasped at the lust of her innocence. While he nibbled her neck and waited for her to catch her breath and adjust to his size. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Jesus uh. Christ. Take it slow, Isabella said, letting her partner know it was safe to move. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know about you, Corey, but <laughs> my dick is hard. <laughs> Fuck. Short break for a second. We'll be back at... Hey everybody, we're back, we're breathing once more, and uh, we gotta keep going. What the fuck? Okay, Phineas slowly pulled out, pausing, then pushed himself back in. It didn't take long for Isabella to meet him, thrust for thrust. Both became lost in each other, their hips bucked as one, moaning, gasping, exploring. Oh, Isabella. Phineas. Yes, Phineas. With one last thrust, they hit their climax together. Phineas collapsed into Isabella, breathless as Isabella panted incoherently. Her walls clamped around his hard shaft as his seed filled her. They dosed off in each other's embrace. And that spell with an eye, let the spell, you fucking twat. The two refused to let school stop them from enjoying each other's salty, sweet nectar. Nice. Uh, ugh. Come swapping. All right. Once <laughs> Phineas passed his... Whoa. Holy <coughs> shit, he grew up fast in the last season. Once Phineas passed his driving test, he and Isabella celebrated in the cabin. She started by giving him a nice teasing BJ that quickly turned into more. The two became lost in the throes of passion. Phineas entered and exited Isabella's body as he teased her nipples. He enjoyed the sounds Isabella made. And she enjoyed the way he made her feel, testing her limits and pushing her body to see just what she could endure as they tried new things. Midway through their tenth year of school, when Isabella started missing school, yeah, I don't know what the fuck it meant, but whatever, <coughs> she had been sent home early, several days, and Phineas started to worry. He decided to visit Isabella, but her parents wouldn't let him see his girlfriend. When he noticed Isabella's family leaving the house without her, Phineas went to went. Phineas when to see her. The house was quiet. Oh, excuse me, I read that one wrong. The house was quiet as he made his way to the bedroom. He saw Isabella cured around her pillow. That's supposed fuck? to be curled. She looked different somehow. What the fuck? You need people need Isabella. Phineas said. His tone showed concern. Isabella, are you woke? Oh. <laughs> She's fucking woke as fuck, boy. boy. 9 11 memes, nigga. Alright. Oh, fuck, I need to bleep that. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Welcome to the racial slurs audio book, where we hate against everybody equally. Alright. Isabella whined when she felt the bed shift, and Phineas lay down behind her. Please, don't make any sudden movement. She whispered again. I don't want to start throwing up a gay. Yep, there's no end. Throwing up a gay? Yeah, I don't know what she's been A into. big gay? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning into this episode. I'm gonna fucking kill Owen. Please do. I was so worried about you. He buried his, <coughs> he buried his face in her hair and ex inhaled deeply. Oh, that's crazy.
crazy shit. Isabella cuddled. Is a what the fuck? Isabella cuddled into Phineas. You were? Why wouldn't I be Phineas? Looked shot. No. You've missed a lot of school and you've been sick a lot. Excellent. He ran his hand down Isabella's arm. Wonderful. Your parents and sisters have made it impossible for me to see you. Terrific. Isabella, what's wrong? Fantastic. Oh boy. I'm pregnant. Isabella sat up. That's oh. why I've been so sick without a K. It's because I'm pregnant. And they are ma and they are made at you for knocking me up. Really, <laughs> Isabella? That wonderful. How far are you? About six weeks. Jesus, sounds like a bunch of fucking wooden Indians talking at each other. All right, inbreds. <laughs> are they actually? Yeah, they actually are brother and sister in the show. But you know, are well, they, they aren't. Yeah, they are. I thought they were. You fucking idiot. I thought they were brother. Do you even read the lore? No, I read the manga, fam. Fuck out of here with that gay shit, really. <laughs> All right. Uh, how much left is there? All right, we're just about through this shit show. Phineas pushed Isabella back, laying between her legs. Right then, in that very moment, Phineas wanted to show Isabella just how much she meant to him. I want to make love to yo. He leaned in, pressing his full weight on Isabella. His warm breath tickled her ear as he whispered sweet, loving words to her. She what the breathed, fuck? She breathed heavily, unable to hide her moans. His fingers intertwined with her. Do you want me to? He asked, before pressing his has to her. What the fuck kind of sentence is that? Has to her. Sliding he tongue along them, begging they part. Y'all motherfuckers are poets, real fucking geniuses. Her hips buck automatically <coughs> as her lips part. What the fuck? Lips part. Allowing his tongue access, his hands moved over her body gently, playing with her chest. Before the... Yeah, not her chest. He's playing with a chest pieces, fam. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, before she could process anything, Isabella was stripped. Phineas left a trail of kisses down her body. Her feeling of sickness was replaced with burning passion, longing, and a hint of lust. I don't know what the fuck lust is, but it must be one of the new kid things. Isabella's eyes rolled back, her hips bucked at the feel of a tongue hitting across her clit while fingers toyed with her entrance. Holy fuck. Mm, she moaned. This sensation, I don't want it to stop. Phineas ri- Whoa! Oh, that's an N. Holy fuck. Phineas nipped her clit as he fingering- Oh, as his fingering quickly turned to more, Isabella gaped and moaned. She was feeling pleasure like never before. He withdrew his hand and got into position. Do you want me to stow? <laughs> yeah, I want you to stow. This fucking chapter be fucking over. His lips press. His lips press against hers. Right now, I want to make you feel like you're living in a dream. I'll do whatever you tell me to, Isabella. Just tell me what to do. I want you, the good and the bad, no matter what. I will always want you. <laughs> Phineas whispered, by the time I'm done, you will have forgotten your name. He pushed into her slowly. He waited for he to adjust his size. What the fuck? <laughs> Trying and putting back in. He let her get used to him before in racing speed. In what? In resting is three R's. Why? I don't know. He gently sucked her chest and played with her nipples, nipping, pinching, and twisting them. <sighs> Isabella, he moaned. Both hit the climax together. Phineas <clears throat> lay on Isabella, kissing her neck, sucking her nipples while his warm seed shot into her, filling her full. Yes. Before they drifted off to sleep, Phineas whispered, I hope we have a little girl just like you. Okay. So now that my phone is dying, probably from the fucking AIDS I just read, that is chapter one. If you want to check this out, I'm not leaving a link in the description. You can find it yourself. Pretty sure that's illegal anyways. What? I don't know. Oh, it's under... Well, it's just writing. Well, yeah. I mean, people like you are the sick fuck... Oh. 
it's it's I just typed porn. it. Yeah, but written. I mean, Stephen King can get away with it with it with like p- kids running a train on some poor kid. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. A Pokemon trainer's encountered with encounters with Pokemon pussy. Sounds good, but not nah. my type. Nah. We want something crazy. Follow you find the Bernstein Bears one. Oh, I'm reading that one. What is it? The Berenstein Bears one? Fuck. <coughs> this time we're getting it all, because last time it was kind it was of a shit pieces. show. Shrek Bowie. David Bowie wakes up in a parallel universe. How the fuck do you explain that? You don't. How do you spell Berenstein? I fucking don't have any idea. We are the Berenstein Bears. WWF motherfuckers. I fucking hate my fucking life, mother. Fuck. We are the Berenstein Bears. Not Berenstein Beats. That's an off brand rap <laughs> rap company, if you don't know that. Yes. <coughs> Berenstein Beats, motherfucker. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even funny. Sure, it was. Fuck yourself, man. I already do. Excellent. You know what? Huh. We are the Berenstein Bears. Sing for us, Corey. We are the Berenstein Bears. Are you still recording? Come into our house and we'll fuck all your mothers. All of them? We are the Berenstein Bears. We're incest, so we fuck one another. Who doesn't? (laughs) Oops, did I... Uh, I think it'd be under cartoons. It's not a TV show, and it sure as fuck isn't an anime. <laughs> you sure about that? It's a manga, not an anime. Country. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you too. Whoa. Well, we fuck have your beavis. life. Be- yeah, we don't have Berenstein Bears, but we do have Bear Nuts. Bear Nuts? That's a fucking cartoon, apparently. That's... Blackwater? That sounds horrible. Black Sad? Bio Revelation. Ba- Billy La Bufana. Senior Wooly. Black Sabbath. <laughs> Biker Mice from Mars. What? What the fuck? Beyond the Western Deep. Big Mouth. Oh, I'd like to watch that one. Uh, Beware the Batman. Beverly Hills Teens. Ho, oh. oh, ho, oh. ho. We are the Bears. The Bears. How much we got left? Well, we don't have very much left on this specific volume of the super anime extravaganza, but uh, we're going to take a little break just for a couple minutes while I find another couple fan fictions, and we'll be right back. Thank you for your patience.